Senator Marsha Blackburn, Republican from the state of Tennessee, joins me now. All right, Senator, I see this as a win for sp free speech. Is it also a win for a genuine political debate in the midterm elections this year? It is indeed a win for free speech, and I do believe that this is a step in returning Twitter to what it was supposed to be, yeah. which was the public square. But, Stuart, listening to what Lauren was saying, what you've got to realize is Jack Dorsey figured out from the hearings we've held where he's had to testify that the days of letting Twitter run amok and censor people, those are over. So some of these content moderators that are out there in Silicon Valley, they're going to have to go to tolerance class if they plan to keep their jobs because this will become a public square. As I was reading things last night and this morning, you have to look at what has happened with Bitcoin, where it accepts all comers, where it is actually worked and mined by the people that are in the Bitcoin site. This is what Elon Musk is trying to do with Twitter, to make it so that you've got the people that use this who are going to be in charge, that it will be a public square where it will engage robust, respectful, bipartisan debate, which is what has helped to keep this nation free and working as a democratic republic all these Indeed. many years Indeed. where we respect a difference of opinion. Yeah, right. Uh, do you expect Mr. Trump to come back to Twitter at some point in the future? I have not talked with the president. I know that he is very involved with Truth Social. I've got a tremendous amount of respect for him and Devin Nunes, who is standing up truth social. But one of the things you have to look at is whether it's Twitter or truth, what you're going to have is a place for uh, the public to go and then get that point counterpoint. That is what people are wanting. You look at how Twitter took down the New York Post story, how they have censored the Federalist, how they have censored other conservative outlets and postings simply because the content moderator said, we don't like that, so we're going to shut it up. And they played extreme cancel culture yep. with what was happening there with Twitter. And well, my hope is that those days come to an end. Let's hope it's a whole new day just beginning. Yes. Senator Marsha Blackburn, always a pleasure. Thanks for being with us, man. Yes. We'll see Thank you. you. Thank you.